inside the new home of the Rangers, Globe Life Field in Arlington. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the long ball beasts taking on the expansion era boomers. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And on the mound today, Catfish Hunter. We know he's one of the best in the game. Doesn't make many mistakes. And if he's in a pinch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Here's the veteran shortstop, Derek Jeter. The 2 on. Hard hit, right side. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Exactly. All right, let's check out the imposing lineup for the long ball beasts. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. On to Murray. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. That in third. The third baseman, Adrian. So Beltre. up next, Adrian Beltre. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Piazza gets it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. End of a half inning of play. No score. Back here with my pal Siggy and today's starter Roy Halladay always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing the spin rate on the curveball is incredible hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today stay back be patient and hit the ball the other way bottom of the first and now Ricky Henderson no left fielder Ricky Henderson the pitch ball left side fires across the diamond one gone bottom half of the first now we take a look at that stacked lineup of legendary players for the expansion era boomers this is a veteran led lineup right here a lot of players with plenty of experience singing yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Ken Griffey Jr. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Stepping in, Mike Schmidt. Ball three. Throw oh, save. Yeah. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Man on second, two down. And ball, ball four, four, two aboard. 
His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And next is the designated hitter, Jim Tomey. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Here comes Junior around third. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So digging in, Eddie Murray. Two on, two outs. They stock center field around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. That's three singles in a row against good pitchers. You've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. So first and second with two outs. Here's the power hitting catcher, Mike Piazza. And now one and two. You know, lots of one pitches ball. thrown in this first two inning. Three. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. The one, two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. We head to the second in Arlington. The Boomers are out in front here. Two to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's a big power threat. Mark McGuire. Mark well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's that one missed. Two balls, one strike. And now it's even up. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Not even close there. And that's ball three. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carry. Gone! And they're on the board. It's 2-1. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at-bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. David Ortiz digs in now. The 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. The 1-2. This one smoked on its way out of here. He'll circle the bases. And this game is tied. It's 2-2. Two -two. Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game.
back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Digging in, Larry Walker. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two and one now. Just nope. missed. Three balls, one strike. Two runs across in the inning here at the top of the second. Got it by him for the kill. Ryan Broad now at the plate. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Here's the catcher to hit, Joe Mauer. Lifted in the air, out to left. And Ricky Henderson the grab. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're dialed into the show. Back at Globe Bring Life Field, off. we head to the bottom North of the shortstop. second, and the batter Cal. will be the shortstop, Cal Ripken, Ripken Jr. Junior. The pitch. And that one fouled off. They turn things over to the southpaw, Andy Pettit. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now here is Joe Morgan. That one drifts inside. One out, base is empty. Inside just missed. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Left hand hitter waits. Here. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. 
So up next, Ricky Henderson checks over to first, back safely. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. In the dirt, and the runner holds. The 2 2. In the air, right side. Walker grabs it on the run. The right fielder, number 19, Tony Gwynn. So digging in, Tony Gwynn. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Well, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter. Morgan on the move. Pitch is high. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Two outs and one in scoring position. Rudder goes again. Pitch misses. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. Hard ground ball, base now. In comes the run from third. It's 3-2. Picks himself up an RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So two down. Now the batter down. Ken Griffey Jr. The 1-1. One -one. Here goes the runner. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. Top half of the third inning. Here's the veteran second baseman, Chase Utley. Chase Utley. That's a strike. And the count one and two. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. That one off the mark. And it's two and two. That is looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like pulling when you think the ball's going to get him in the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the shortstop, Derek Jeter. Fastball yeah. for a strike. The Beasts trailing by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And to a lay down. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. So two down now, and here is Bernie Williams. Ball and that's downstairs and outside. Three balls, one strike. Two 
Two down, nobody on. That one is absolutely belted. That'll make it out of here. And it ties it up. It's 3-3. Three, three. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing and we're all tied up. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now, Adrian Beltre. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs, bases empty. Beltre tries to hold up, appeal to first, no swing. Righty delivers. Swings through him for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're tied now with three apiece. Back in Arlington, Leading here's the center fielder, the Ken center Griffey field. Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Two strikes. On the ground. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Right. Got that hitter to roll over. Schmidt. Now, Mike Schmidt. The 2 1. And a swing and a miss. Pitch misses. Three and two now. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Tied up here in the early going. Got him swinging. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Jim Tomey, the next to hit. Two outs. Good oh. eye right there. And that one that off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Number Hitter three. didn't offer Number at it. 30. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man at first. Murray. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Eddie Murray. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. And another ball. Yeah. Ripped to short. Rolls across the diamond. Third out. We played three. And our score, 3-3. Three, three.
start of the fourth. Now it's going to be Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Pitch yep, misses outside. Out. Now two and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Gal gets it over to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And now the DH, David Ortiz. Right hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there. It's two and two. And here it comes. Damon! Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And yeah, the batter now, Larry Walker. And the pitch. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. One ball, two strikes. All tied up, top half of inning number four. And nope. there's a ball. ball. It's a good take. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. So they make short work of them there. And midway in the fourth, all tied up at three apiece. Ready to go, Ready to go. bottom four. And here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. Piazza. Wine to kick the pitch. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that high forcing fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. Stepping in the long ball threat, Cal Ripton Jr. One down, base is empty. And All now the two. count is even. Two, two the count. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it. And that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Morgan off of first with two away. Snap throw to first. Back in safe, really close.
the 1-1. One -one. That's ball two. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two outs. Oof! That one went straight back and got her up right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. And he deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Two down. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. All tied up at three apiece. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Ryan Broad. Ryan the wind and the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now the catcher comes up to him, Joe Mauer. Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. That's a ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The wind of the pitch. That one is inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the second baseman, Chase Utley. Ball to strike. The pitch. On the ground to first. Could be two. Goes to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Offense held in check there. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied up at three apiece. Stepping in is the speedy Tony Gwynn. Here's one of those crazy stats about Tony Gwynn. If you split his career numbers in half, he'd still rank first in Padres history in runs, hits, total bases, and doubles. That one misses, and it's two and two. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Todd Glavin, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Santana also getting ready. Oh, 
Now a screamer into the outfield. And a base hit right there. And now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. The one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Run. Going back on this one. Gone. It just got out of here. And it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's five three. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. takes over on the mound just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game and next will be the cleanup hitter Mike Schmidt and the pitch ball that's in That's the third, Beltre. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jim. Now it's the DH, Jim Tomey. And a foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Next to hit, Eddie Murray. That clips the zone. And the count, one and two. Man at first, one away. And another ball. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Slings to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Top six. To now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. Shortstop, Derek Jeter. The wind of the pitch. 
Fought off foul. Smash down the left field line. And Ricky Henderson the grab. Up next is D. Bernie Williams will hit next. One down, base is empty. Just missed. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Left field. Henderson moves under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. At the play, Adrian Beltre. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's a lead for the expansion era. Five to three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning, and here is Mike Piazza. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Action in the pen down there. Billy Wagner up and loosening in the pen. Then a hard throwing right hander up as well. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. Swing and he breaks his bat. Makes the grab one down. The batter, the shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. Now here is Cal Ripken Jr. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That misses. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swinging. Mauer gathers, throws the first, in time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Oh, big second power guy three. right there and generating so much bat speed. It's Morgan. hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Joe Morgan digs in now. That's inside. Ball two. And Down another four. ball. again and it remains three and two hanging in there pretty good against the lefty eighth pitch of the at back coming up 
Lifted in the air right center field. Williams on the move to the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. The strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Movement in the bullpen. Ron Gidry appears to be getting loose. Franco getting loose as well. misses outside. outside the only adjustment he needs to make is his target if you aim at the outside corner that slider's going to end up way off the plate perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want it struck him out swinging couldn't catch up to the heater a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Next is the designated hitter, David Ortiz. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And there's two down. Now it's the right fielder, Larry Walker. The Boomers up by two here in the top half of inning number seven. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. And another ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice... Wow, oh, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. Makes it safely. It's a leadoff double in the bottom of the seventh. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the ball to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Now the number two hitter, Tony Gwynn. Pickoff moved to second. Ricky dives back in. Man at second. Check well, swing. He held up. Now two balls and a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. down it away he should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked kicks and fires swings and misses struck him out now batting center fielder yes. 
Here's a big power threat. Ken Griffey Jr. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Berg, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Yep. And another That's ball. Inside. Fouls one off. Two and two. Next Thank offering you. misses down and away. One out and a runner at second. Good plate oh, appearance oh, there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. So first and second with one gone, and now Mike Schmidt. Two on, one out. And the inside corner for a strike. Double play ball to second. There's one. And that's two. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. Eighth inning coming up. The Boomers lead it five to three. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ron Guidry. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Ryan Broad getting ready to hit. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And he walked no, it. But this guy's definitely a plus runner. But what I love about him is that he goes all he go? out every single time. Never Good takes effort. a break. It's guys oh, like yeah. that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The tying run at the plate. Yeah. And that's a stolen base, not even close. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss struck him out. And now Chase Utley. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Good eye on that spot. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Late with the swing there. Wrong. The runner at second with one away. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Derek Jeter waits on deck. Tying run at the plate. Got him swinging for the K. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Well, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Here's Derek Jeter now with a runner in scoring position. Man on second, two down. That one misses, and the count is three and one.
on a line. And Ricky Henderson the grab. And that's the third out. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading off, Jim Tomey. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now at the plate, Eddie Murray. And it is two and one. The pitch. Strike two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Billy Wagner, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Then a right hander loosening up as well. The pitch. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throws to first. Murray retired. The catcher. Mike Piazza. Here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots Piazza out the play no he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough got out in front a little bit rolled over on it and beat it into the ground here's the shortstop at the play Cal Ripken Jr. Tell me on third with two out well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. So they're at the corners now. Now it's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one is lifted in the air, and that is that. So they strand a pair through eight full. The Boomers are out in front here, five to three. Blue. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Next offering is downstairs. Curveball for a strike. Yeah, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, it's going to be tough to get to today. He's two outs away. Adrian Beltre, the next to hit. Now, well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And oh, another ball. Out. The Boomers leading by two here at the top of the ninth. High in the air, out to right. Moving under this one. Makes the grab, two down. The first the 
So it's their last chance in this one. And here's the first baseman, Mark McGuire. Two outs. They're down to their final stroke. The Beasts down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.